free your mind. So today I'm using a new resin, uh, this is from Craft Resin, as you can see it comes as a one to one, um, it's from a company called, let's see if I can get up here, craft-resin.co.uk and they are very competitive of these resins, so uh, as I say it's a one to one, I'm going to try it out now. It comes as part A and part B, that's a part A. So my scale is zeroed. It's quite thick. I literally just opened this, so uh, 35, 36 rather, 34, somewhere around there. So that's 76 what I need down. I think this is the thickest resin I've worked with. Just watch it go to 77 now. Right. So what we do now with this craft resin, we mix it up for three minutes. It's very thick, it's thicker than what I usually use. So three minutes and I'll be back. If you use my code epoxy10, so it's epoxy and one zero, you'll get 10% off. Uh, that's just through my um, through my YouTube channel. I'm now going to divide this into the five cups below. I maybe should have um, measured how much the uh, mold took before I did this. If I don't have enough, I can always make some more. you might be doing. Scrape out every little bit I can do. Because resin isn't resin isn't cheap. But this is fairly competitive I'd say. So now I'm going to try some pigments out. I'm sorry about the light. Um, it's a bit of a makeshift setup at the moment. So this is just a pink powder. I'll just see if there's enough in there. Give it a good old stir. Now this one's more of a ready orange. Maybe too much in there, but. I 
to make sure you give it a really good stir. Mix all the pigment up. Now we've got a liquid white here. Which isn't opened, so I'll try this one. Which is empty. I think I'll use this one first. This is a white gold, which will probably work better actually for what I'm going to do. This resin's really thick. I like it actually. And speaking of pigments, um, I'm also going to be the UK supplier for the res. Susanna Dinks is a uh, little baby. So, yeah, I'll be. Um, if you want any of the res, you need to contact me at my email, uh, which should be down below. Right, this is the. Uh, White gold, quite nice is that, I like that. Right, I'm just wondering if I've just not enough resin to do this, to do the one. Um, that's what I will do. I'll just make the camera. I haven't thought this through 100%. It's quite a while since I've been doing anything. Um, I've had things to deal with. So, I really like this mould. Like a serrated edge on it, and it's, as you can see, it's in sort of divided into four. Um, I think you can maybe get away with doing two of them. I actually love this thickness, it's staying where it's supposed to stay and it's not just running away. Trying to even these lines up here. I might just make some more for the other bit. I just want to graduate this into the pink. Yeah, it looks like I've not mixed it well enough, enough resin. I got me salted soon though. Get that in the corner. It's better. I 
Alright, we've got the white gold now. Well, I'm going to do now. We've still got the clear here. Just going to add some holographic foil into it. See how that works. The clay is now pushing the white backwards. Let's get a little bit more foil around there. Let a piece of the foil go into the, per the pink. It's refusing to come out. There we go. Just cover that up with the white gold. I've just realised I forgot to put my gloves on. Doesn't matter. Okay, so I've just mixed some more resin up. Um, I've also put some of this shimmery sparkle, it's white holographic. So I'm going to put uh, some of this in instead of it being too clear. Just mind my torch out the way. Make sure it's well stirred.
I'm really happy so far with this resin. Nice and thick. Some of the resins I've worked with have been literally like water. It's okay for a flood coat, but not always ideal if you did something like this. So I'm basically just doing the same as last time. Stirring up the uh, white gold. Really turns out a nice colour, does this? As you can see, I'm not going for perfection. I don't think you could do really. I don't think you could do when you're working on four things at a time. It's against some of the silver in here. Also with this resin, there's no smell whatsoever. Now, I'm used to having some sort of smell with resin. For some reason, not this one. I'm gonna get a bit more of the uh, Be careful with this stuff because it goes all over. There must be an easy way to put this holographic stuff on. Gotta take this little bit out. There we go. Hmm, what should I do? I'm 
tidy this up a bit. They have some pink left. Give it a bit of a swirl. If this is too rough later, what I might do, I might just put another coat, a coat of clear on top of it. I think that'd be a good idea actually. Right, that's it for now. Let's see how we go on. Make sure you pop those bubbles. So this is what I made the other day. Uh, this is like 48 hours later because I did put another clear coat on top of it. Make sure I'm with the camera. So this is the unveiling. This is really smooth, it's like glass. That's easy enough to demold. Still need to finish it off yet. One piece. Two. Three. And four. So I obviously need to um, take the edges down there. I think that's better if you see it that way. Yeah, I'll need to take the edges down a little bit. Turn out kill the other side as well.
There we go. As I said, I've got to finish them off yet. I've got to put some uh, nice gold edging around the sides, around the edges rather. And it's really toughened. I love it. It's really shiny, really glass-like. That's only way I can describe it, really. Okay. So I'll let you have a look at the finished piece when it's done. Just give it a quick swirl around. Oh, before I forget, I used some e extra uh, resin where I had left over. Making these things. Maybe I'll use the, the wrong sort of uh, resin, maybe I should have used clear. Yeah, actually, I don't know if you can see it on here, but... Oops, where are we now? It actually, when it catches the light, it glitters like a real geode. This last one out. That's quite good. I'm hoping that you. Oh, it's up if I put it in the camera. Uh, I'm hoping that you can see it. It's all glitter. As I said, I don't know if you can see it. Glitter. Maybe if I look with the light, I might just catch it. You can see all around us. Oh. Trying to the angle of the light so you can see the glittery effect. And these are just cheap molds from wish.com. I think they cost uh, around about a pound, so probably about a dollar or something like that in the, the US or whatever. You can see there, it like catches the light, sort of a glitter effect. Yeah, just thought I'd throw them in as well. Okie doke. I also used this. Let me get this light proper. So, uh, just like a, a bangle sort of mould. I did have some left over, as I said. So, let's see how this turns out. I just threw some colours in, and that's what it turns out like. And it's got a real sheen on there, really nice. Obviously, the back needs sorting a little, but that won't be a problem with the Dremel. So, yeah, overall, I do like this resin. I think it's uh, probably the best one I've used up to now. Um, so if you want 10% off, just remember that the 10% uh, the coupon is down below. It was epoxy 10, epoxy 10, and the website's down there as well. Okie doke. Okay, so here it is, finished. I've finished it off with a Posca pen on the sides, as you can see, it's gold. So, I think they look pretty cool with the um, edging on. I suppose you can leave it with or without the edging. So when they all fit together, what it looks like, and it's, I think it's pretty cool. I don't know if we can get any close-ups of it. Let's see. I might need to do the lines again. 
because uh, I think they need a second coat of the uh, Posca pen. Okay, let me know what you think about it.